one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That giant leap began 55 years ago today when the United States embarked on its greatest journey of all time, sending three astronauts to the moon. Four days later, Apollo 11 would become the first space flight to land humans on the lunar surface. Yeah, PIX 11's Marvin Scott was not on the lunar surface, but he <laughs> was at the Kennedy Space Center that day in 1969 to witness the launch. It was 55 years ago when the world held its breath as three men sat atop a massive rocket preparing for a mission to achieve one of the greatest milestones in human history, landing on the moon. I was at the Kennedy Space Center as Apollo 11 began its remarkable journey. Two, one, zero. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. It was the dawning of a new day. The Saturn V rocket erupting like inverted volcanoes and slowly lifting off the pad into the cloudless blue sky. Astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, they were on the way to the moon. A chill of excitement consumed my body in the 90 degree heat as the ground rumbled and the crowd roared, go baby go. 5,000 guests witnessed the historic moment. I was among 3,500 journalists from 56 nations recording the moment, set in motion years earlier by President John F. Kennedy. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. The eagle has landed. That's one small step for man. Four days after liftoff, it was a moment in time, forever frozen as a timeless moment for the 600 million people around the world who watched the grainy footage of Armstrong's giant leap for mankind. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. The project cost $25 billion. Some 400,000 people worked on it. The moon landing and five subsequent ones were pivotal moments in human history. And pivotal moments as well for those caught up with the thrill of Americans landing on the moon. I was in first grade going into, then the summer going into second grade. And uh, yeah, that made a big impact. I wanted to grow up to be like Neil Armstrong. New Yorker Mike Massimino did. He became a NASA astronaut and flew two space shuttle missions and performed four spacewalks. He says we're still reaping the benefits of those pioneering days in space. I think you can say we have almost everything because of the space program. You know, the advances that were made in computers and miniaturization of technology and communications. There was a lot of spinoffs from that. For many of us, that Apollo launch and moon landing are a part of our distant memory. The current Apollo exhibit at the Intrepid Museum is now an opportunity for the generations not born 55 years ago to share that moment in history. More than five decades since that Apollo launch, the United States is now preparing for return visits to the moon and beyond. Right now, there's a goal to visit Mars within the next 10 years. There's no limit to future exploration of space. At the Apollo exhibit, at the Intrepid Museum, I'm Marvin Scott, Pix 11 News.